America's oldest sports rivalry will debut at the home of the American Revolution. Yeah, the 124th annual meeting between the Army Black Knights and the Navy Midshipmen will kick off from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Note well. Mm -hmm. This weekend, you can watch it right here on 10 Tampa Bay. 10 Tampa Bay is Nick Volturo hanging out with us in studio this morning with more. Good morning, sir. Frank, Caitlin, good morning. The two teams are evenly matched, sharing an identical record on the season. And last year's game was a classic as Army won in double overtime to edge out Navy 20-17. to I want to welcome in two men very familiar who will be calling the game this Saturday here on CBS, Pete Medhurst and Rich DeMarco. And guys, this game could be a classic. They, they all tend to be, especially lately, uh, you know, really once Jeff Munkin took over at Army, as Rich can attest, uh, they become an incredibly competitive program uh, on a national basis alongside Navy uh, as well, who had the long winning streak for several years. But these games, the athletes, they all recruit the same athletes. They try to get them to come to Army. They try to get them to come uh, to Navy. So you've got evenly matched players. You've got two amazing coaching staffs, and you have one incredible desire to win uh, on both sides, and that usually leads to a lot of great drama, which fans will see right here uh, on CBS in Tampa coming up on Saturday. You know, one of the cool things is Navy dominated for years. There was about a 14-year stretch where Navy was dominant. We watched the game last year. Army now has kind of been back and forth, winning the last few. We've seen Army riding a hot streak right now, winning their last three games. Navy lost. How do you see this game going, especially after last year, where I think we had, what, three total passes thrown in the entire game? And we're talking a double overtime battle. So what do we expect the game to look like this season? Well, it's always a classic. I mean, you go back to, what, 2016, Navy was looking at potentially going to the Cotton Bowl, right? And then Army ended up defeating the midshipmen, breaking that 14-game Navy streak. Army's won five of the last seven, but they've all been nail-biters, maybe save for one of those games. And you mentioned double overtime last year where Navy badly outgained Army. You go back the year before, Navy beat Army in a game which Army feel they had outgained Navy for a good portion of that game. So throw the records out, and I would even say – throw the statistics out during the game, you know it's going to come down to a couple of big plays. And as Pete mentioned, you mentioned, these really just tend to all be classics, low scoring, rock fights, and I would be surprised if we don't have another on Saturday. You know, this is definitely going to be one of those games. You're not going to see the Rogers stall back Navy midship and air the ball out for 350 yards, right? This is going to be a ground attack with 30, 40 carries, both teams running these triple option offense. So we're probably going to see one of those type of grind out games. It's probably you're thinking a close score to end it out, huh? Yeah, I mean, I, I think in the end, but, you know, uh, you know, this, this rivalry, you know, we've got Rob Gronkowski okay. on, on behalf of USAA giving away you know, recycled cars, one to an Army family, one to a Navy family. There's going to be some plays in the game that I think Gronk's going to be happy with. Rich can attest. I mean, Army's got nine guys with a, a catch of 20 yards or more. So there's potential for an explosive play there. Same thing with Navy, uh, with several of their receivers like Eli Heidenreich and, and Alex Teska, guys that can get down the field and run away from folks. So there's potential for some explosive plays in the game. Uh, but you're right. It's the team that runs it for the most part and does not turn the football over uh, that likely will come out on the high end. And as we like to say, sing second here on Saturday. Well, we look forward to you guys being able to talk at this game and joining us. Obviously, this is going to be one of those another historic battles, 124th annual Army Navy. Thanks a lot for joining us. Once again, you can only find the game right here, 3 p.m. on CBS. And we'll be coming up.